Hello again. Um, I am going to set up a um, not really complex but a better uh, way of um, storing your energy than that little battery we had in the, uh, the, last, the last episode. So we're going to upgrade to the large battery. Um, in fact I'm going to put that down right now. I was going to do the solar panels first, but given that we're talking about the battery, I'm going to do the battery first. Um, so I'm just going to place this down there. It's pretty big, so you need some space. Um, and annoyingly, the the power inputs are on the back of the battery as you're putting it down so if you place it against the wall for instance um, or in a corner uh, you won't be able to access them so you'll notice that I backed into a corner and placed it down so that the inputs are at the front as I access them that that was really annoying when I discovered that for the first time um, because these are not cheap and you can't pick, I don't think you can pick them up. Oh, you can now. You couldn't at the time. Anyway, I digress. What we're going to do is we're going to connect up um, four solar panels. Uh, let's go throw those down now. Um, actually, to save me rotating now, I'm just going to go here. Um, let's have them all over this side, I can't be bothered to have them all the way over there. Oh, this is going to be messy. Right, anyway, so... We've got our panels down. Um, what we're going to be using to um, do this is what's called a root combiner. So you'll see I've got three of them. And the idea is that we're going to pair off um, these solar panels. And I need the wire tool. So what we're going to do is connect the root combiner to each of the pairs of solar panels that we're going to use. Like so. And then going back downstairs, if we put this on the wall, um, here, um, what we're going to do is run both of those root combiners down to that root combiner. I don't like it when I can't see the wire. So that's one. Okay, so we now have Is it getting dark outside? 
Okay, so the power coming in has been diminished already by the uh, time of day. But what we've got here is both of the um, pairs of solar panels via the root combiner into here. And now it's a simple case of running this root combiner into the battery. And now we should see this going up slowly. So there you go, it's gone from 2 minutes, 1 second, to 3 seconds, 4. So there you go, that's now getting power and holding it. The last thing I'm going to do this is just so that you can isolate all of your electrics from the, um, from the power output here, is uh, I'm going to put a switch um, on this wall. If I can, if I can move, and I'm going to run the power output into there. So now, for our future electronics upgrades um, if I if I'm logging off for the night and they're not like defense related electrics um, I can just switch them off at night and the base uh, the battery can power, uh, charge itself up without the uh, without the draw of the automatic uh, systems going on and off um, and that's it that's all I'm showing you in this video today so um, I hope that's been useful. Um, this is obviously um, using solar panels, but you can do exactly the same thing um, with uh, wind turbines. So if you have two wind turbines, um, connect them directly into a root combiner and then from the root combiner straight into your batteries or battery. Um, so you could have two large batteries um, in here, um, one running into the next, um, and then just have this switch to isolate all of your electrics from it. And that's it. Um, as usual, if you've got some recommendations or ideas on how this can be improved, or ideas on things you can do, um, let me know in the comments below and if you've got your own videos that show off what electricity can do then um, then um, yeah once again let me know either down below or in the friend not foe discord so um, yeah thanks very much for watching bye